This is Dr. Roderick Sampson from King Propulsion again with another little blog post entitled Verifold. What on earth are those? Um, it's a little overview of uh, sailboat propellers, um, the many options out there, or three of the main options, giving us some history um, about the company uh, King Propulsion represents in the US and some, some of the benefits of our system, um, which we thoroughly enjoy and uh, are very, very proud of. So, for over 10 years of testing in cavitation tunnels, uh, working in academics and uh, being a cult consultant, I have to say there's nothing quite like a folding sailboat propeller. And I know King Propulsion is the US distributor for the very fold range of folding propellers, but I really still think they're special. So for a short introduction onto these elegant designs, um, let me give you just a little bit of background. So the typically with a, a sailboat propeller manufacturer, um, you're going to find they're, they're very specialist at making these little propellers and very, very, you know, very economical at doing so. Now, Bruntons are just as very fold and Bruntons are just as economical. We've got a very, very competitive product. But standing behind the product is a massive company, uh, Storm Marine Group. Um, these two are actually sister companies and they can make a propeller, and this is without, <laughs> without exception, of any size. They can make them for... Um, aircraft carriers, cruise ships, container ships, it's it's really really one of the oldest and largest propeller companies in the world and so the range of, you can see the size, the little dots on the bottom there are, are two guys sat on this propeller measuring it so the knowledge from these designs filters down into the very fold range it's it's a remarkable remarkable thing and they don't just do fixed pitch propellers they do stern gear and shaft lines and they're very very active in research and development um, in addition to the uh, large-scale propellers um, they're able to offer a CNC of medium-sized propellers full CNC so they can be computer numerically controlled uh, to automated five-axis milling machine to, to actually cut the propellers from a, a block of um, phosphor bronze or, or whichever material has been specified for the design. Um, the, the side which we deal with quite a lot of uh, is the obviously the Brunton side which is the the very fold range. Um, we're, you know we're offering um, a Sigma drive which is a shaft alignment uh, coupling. It's very very low wear, really really popular and very new on the market. Retractable anodes for sail yachts and custom props for you know, mega yachts and super yachts and, and a whole range of other sort of shaft sails and you name it, CPP service and thrust service. So it's a real giant of a company that offers um, all these services and it, it's the knowledge, the in-house knowledge transfers to the Verifold range. So we do have the expertise to deliver on the blade sections, the blade type, keeping the blades efficient, keeping them quiet, low vibration and all these features are part of the Verifold and why it's been so very successful. So we've got the company and you've got three options really um, as I see it uh, for, for your yacht propeller. The first one is a fixed pitch propeller. Uh, the second one is the uh, folding uh, propeller and the third one is the feathering propeller. A um, little bit out of order there but the feathering one's actually in the middle, the, the one that needs a little bit of maintenance doing to it. Um, so your fixed pitch propeller is it's exactly as it says, it's just a, just a standard fixed pitch propeller which you'll put on your yacht. Small boats you tend to get away with it, the larger boats. The propeller will actually cause drag. It's like dragging a bucket of water behind the vessel. Um, if you ever look over the back of a vessel when a, a boat's underway, you'll see all the swirling water. It takes energy to swirl the water and that energy is transferring from the sails to the propeller you know, it's 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 when the when even when your engine's off and the propeller's slowly rotating or if it's locked off, you're still imparting swirl to the the boat and it's taken away from your speed. So it does have an effect on the uh, top speed of your vessel under sail. So it's it's the the, the options then were to think think of well how can we retract the propeller, get it out of the way so we can sail and just have these glorious days at sea. So one of the one of the one of the successful options. Um, was a, a feathering propeller. Now this is very much like an aircraft propeller, uh, a Cessna or something like that, where you can you can angle the blades to a zero lift condition. Um, let's see if I've got a picture with somebody pushing it. Yeah, you go. So all the blades are geared, and it's just self pitches in the floor sort of thing. So when it's um, locked off underway, um, the blades will align exactly in the floor. But th th so it's it, it seems like it's a really really good option. 
But when it's when it's actually been used, the um, the blades we have what's called a pitch distribution. So different radial positions coming out of the blade, you'll need different angles of the blade. So with the Verifold, the pitch distribution, it, it's offloaded at the tip, so the, the pitch at the tip is much less and the pitch at the root is much higher. So with this one, you, you're not getting enough um, thrust at the root and you're getting too much thrust at the tip. So you get a lot of um, cavitation and a lot of noise because there's too much um, um, thrust being put down at the tips. Now that trans it does translate into um, vibration up the shaft and this is one of the one of the um, um, complaints of this type of system so in its, in its, it's, its favour it is very good at going forward and astern because the blades are symmetrical and you, you, you can get um, you know the same amount of thrust in a stern as going forward so there, there is manoeuvring sort of considerations but in general the noise and vibration is very much more noticeable than a folding propeller so the very fold then, it, it's got these funny, funny looking blades, but they're actually true helical pitch distribution. So when the blade is fully opened, it's very, very reminiscent of a fixed pitch propeller. So you have all the benefits. You get um, high performance. You usually get a little bit more speed than the, um, the feathering propellers, purely because of the blade design. The pitch has been offloaded to the tip, so you're going to get... Um, reduced cavitation, reduced noise, and then inherently reduced vibration. So these things are much, much quieter when they're under, under, under steam. And then when they're folded away as well, they're, the blades tuck behind the hub quite nicely. The two blades goes like a little clamshell, and the three and the four, four blades just all align really, really nicely. So they, they all tuck away nicely. So the drag is, is, is fantastically low. And it's just a very, very elegant system. They have had a bad rap, I will say that. Um, the MarTech props that were originally kicked off in the States, uh, the folding propellers, had uh, no gears in the blades. And the blades would just kind of flop around sort of thing as, as you had to spin them up to get them to work. So the original folding propellers were really suffer from that. And when we speak to customers and clients about this system, that's one of their concerns about it. But you can see from this one, they've got some really, really... Uh, Beautifully machined gears uh, that the all of the blades interlock and they open up and close together. Obviously, you've got your anode in the centre there, and it is really, really, really a beautiful system. So that's just a little overview, um, nice, short and sweet of the the many options that are out there. Um, we love the Verifold. Um, obviously, we're a little bit partial to that, but uh, that's how we are. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, if you want to hear more of these little articles, uh, you can log on to the website, uh, kingproportion.com forward slash blog. I try and do one of these every week. Uh, it's a little hard when you get quite busy, but I, I'm trying to do it every week. And we tweet about it at, at King Proportion. And obviously we have the Facebook page at kingproportion.com. So until next time, thank you very much.